Everybody knows I don't lift weights um, anymore. I just do uh, body weight exercises. So a lot of people ask me, like, uh, can you train calisthenics? Can you train body weight exercises every day? And um, I have I have quite a bit of experience training uh, calisthenics every day. And uh, some of them were good experiences, some of them were bad experiences. The first time that I really did uh, hard calisthenics every day was probably in jump school, okay? Um, I was in my early 20s, it was a few years ago, and um, it was a thing basically, you know, when you jump, you gotta like, you know, pull on your parachute, pull on the risers to like, you know, switch. You can't really guide it. You can't steer it, but you can guide your parachute a little bit. So you have to be strong enough to, you know, to pull yourself up like that. And um, so to build up the strength, what the Army had us doing is uh, doing chin-ups um, several times a day. Basically, you'd wake up in the morning, you know, you do your, your PT, your physical training, pull-ups, okay? Um, every time you ate, you, you had to do pull-ups before you got into the dining facility. So that's, uh, you know, two, three, four times a day. And uh, then when you got off at the night, okay, so it basically was like five times a day, five sets a day minimum that you had to do pull-ups you know, or chin-ups. And, um, and I was hanging out with a couple of guys. We were pretty hardcore. We were in, you know, in pretty good shape as it was. So we would do things like, um, all right, your turn. And then the guy would be like, oh, okay, uh, you know, we're going to pull up to like the back of our neck, hold for two seconds, 10 reps, da da da, da. You know, so we, we, were, we were having fun with it. Um, Jump school, for those who don't know, um, at least at the time that I was there, it was three weeks long, weekends off, okay? So five days a week for three weeks in a row, we were doing minimum five sets of, of chin-ups a day. And um, almost everybody had the exact same experience that I did. And it was basically like, you know, the first week, you felt okay. The second week, you were like, you know, a monster. We were just making... Not, I don't know about you know size gains because I wasn't like a bodybuilder lean back then, you know. But strength gains like crazy. The third week, everybody started to get burnt out, okay, and we we almost felt like we were losing strength. But like I said, the first you know the second week was just incredible. It was awesome, okay. But like I said, we were pushing it pretty hard, and uh, you know we were doing it five times a day. And like I said, every every set. I'm not gonna say we were doing it to failure, but we were doing something to make it uh, interesting <laughs> every single time we did a set of pull-ups. So that was like my first experience. And what I thought, you know, in the beginning this was great, but then after a while I was like, no, this is too much, you know. Um, after that, you know, I still lifted weights and stuff back then, and. Um, you know, I didn't really do a whole lot of um, calisthenics. When I stopped lifting weights and started doing calisthenics again, I basically used a uh, like a like a weightlifting protocol. Okay, I would uh, lift weights. Rather, I would do calisthenics. You know, three times a week or whatever. Or take a day off in between, like you would with weight training. Okay, and. Um, Recently, I started doing calisthenics every day again. Everybody knows I got really lean and really ripped doing a lot of plyometrics and a lot of uh, burpees, a lot of uh, jump rope intervals. And, uh, you know, I, I looked pretty good. But the funny thing is when you get really lean, you feel like you're skinny. Then when you get a little bit bulkier, you feel like you're fat. So everybody kind of like goes between, you know, cutting and even if you don't make extreme changes, in your weight, in your appearance, your body fat, you still go between like more definition and then more searching after size. After I got this lean, I uh, decided I was gonna concentrate on getting a little bit more size. So I went in kind of a lean bulk for a while. And like I said, I don't do weights anymore, so it was a uh, completely calisthenic body weight uh, bulk I was going on. I did um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I did um, body weight exercises. Okay, supersetted uh, pull-ups with ring dips, supersetted um, bodyweight rows with push-ups, full range on push-up handles. And I did squats and um, hanging leg raises. I have a video about the uh, workout I was doing back in, back at that point. And uh, that was, you know, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I was hitting it pretty hard, doing like, you know, a minimum two sets of, uh, you know, of each. Uh, four sets for the uh, leg raises and the squats. 
And uh, you know, when I was doing this, I was also doing every day a minimum of so many um, squats, uh, ring dips, and pull-ups. Okay, so like, let's say I was doing like twenty ring dips and uh, twenty pull-ups. You know, if I could only do four sets of uh, five reps, fine. If I could do two sets of ten reps, fine. You know, a set of fifteen and a set of five, that's fine too. You know, and uh, but I was, I was I was pushing it kind of hard because I had a set number that I wanted to do, and um, I made some pretty good gains. You know, basically what I would do is, you know, I would do, like I said, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, my hard workout, but Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, I would do minimum, like I said, 20 pull-ups, 20 dips, you know, whatever. And um, in the beginning, I was making gains, and I, I, I really pumped up pretty big, too, because I was like around 15-inch arms when I got lean, and, uh, you know, when I went ahead and started doing this body weight lean bulk, I, I went up to like over 16, you know, and I may, I did gain some weight, you know, some fat. So a little bit of size might come from that, but like, I guarantee you, I had like almost, if not, you know, minimum 16 inch lean arms, you know, even compensating for the little bit amount of fat that I gained. So it was, you know, it worked out really well. After a while, I had um, like a little bit of burnout, and I say it's more of a mental burnout. I'm gonna have something about overtraining in a while, because I believe that most overtraining is mental. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel good. I didn't feel like I was looking forward to these daily workouts, and um, I did eventually have like a tendonitis in uh, one of my forearms. So, um, like I said, I can't really go ahead and recommend that you train hard every day. Uh, what I am doing right now, okay, is um, I'm starting back up again this week doing uh, pull-ups, dips, and squats every day. Okay, so I'm doing a longer workout Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just like I was before, and I'm doing one set, okay, of pull-ups, bar dips, not ring dips, and uh, body weight squats every single day. Now, what I'm doing them now is just one set. I have a lower rep count that I'm looking for, okay? And I'm actually looking forward to this every day. It's like, you know, I, I like to jump on the bar, you know, uh, you know, get my little tiny workout in. It doesn't take a long time, so if I have a lot of things to do, it's not like, damn, how am I gonna fit this in? You know, it's not mentally taxing because it's like, you know, well, while I'm uploading this video to YouTube, I'll just run over and, you know, and, and do my, my calisthenics workout real quick. So I still have like hard day, easy day. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I hit the bar hard. And then uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, I just jump on for literally a couple minutes and you know knock out a few reps of each of those exercises. So like I said, I really look forward to it every day. I feel stronger every day. Uh, and like I said, I'm just doing, what am I doing, like 10 um, pull-ups, 15 bar dips, and like 20 squats on my you know off days. And that's really easy. Okay, I could do more than 10 pull-ups. I could do more than 15, um, you know, dips and more than that many squats. So, like I said, it's it's enough to stimulate me and make me feel like I've done something and pump my muscles up and, you know, feel like, I like oh, man, I'm all pumped up. I feel good. You know, it, it's enough to stimulate the muscles in terms of getting the blood flowing, you know, uh, a little bit of strength, you know, um, like improving like uh, like the CNS, the central nervous system, because I'm getting used to doing the movement. You know, I could do it with perfect form, but like I said, it's not killing me. So it's not really breaking my muscles down every single day. It's also not, um, you know, mentally fatiguing where I'm like scared to do my exercises. So I think that's like the perfect balance. I, you know, do your workouts, uh, your hard workouts, if whether you uh, you know want to go to failure or go almost to failure, a couple times a week, leave a day off in between like a weightlifter would. But every day, yeah, go ahead and, and, and just jump on the bar. You know, if you I, I have a uh, pull up dip tower at home that I use for all my workouts actually. Um, you know, get yourself a doorway pull up bar, hang some rings from it, 
and uh, you know, just do a little every day, or, or maybe just go ahead and do some push-ups, you know, or some chair dips or whatever, just every day. And uh, you know, like I said, you know, I, I think that the daily workouts really had a lot to do with me going in a very short time from 15 to 16 inch arms. You know, I mean, I, I was cutting, so obviously my body may have been a little bit depleted. So when I started changing my diet, that may be a reason why you know my muscles pumped up so quickly. But uh, you know, like I said, I, yeah, do calisthenics every day. Do not go to failure every single day. Uh, do not push hard every single day. And basically, the rule of thumb for working out every day is, you know, on your easy days, you should feel like doing it. You know, you should feel like, you know, look forward to jumping on the bar, doing a few uh, pull-ups, dips, whatever. Uh, don't do like a long ass workout. Don't go to failure. Just like it should be a fun thing. Like I'm gonna jump on the bar, do a set of pull-ups, dips, squats, and then I'm gonna get off and get on with my day. And that's what has worked out so far. That's what has worked out best for me in terms of doing calisthenics every single day.